There are various situations and circumstances in T20 games where bowlers are set with patterns in their field and batsmen have to disrupt it. What we see in that scenario is players like Dishant Yagnik practicing innovative shots to combat that. अगर कोई बॉलर आपको वाइड होकर फेंक रहा है और छह फील्डर उसके पीछे हैं थर्ड मैन डीप पॉइंट डीप कवर कवर एंड डीप लॉन्ग ऑफ तो आप पहले क्रीज के अंदर खड़े रहें अपने आप को सेट करें जब बॉलर डिलीवर करने वाला होगा आपको जम करके पीछे आना है और ये आपका पैर आपका जितना पीछे जा सकता है क्योंकि ये पैर जितना पीछे जाएगा इतना आप लो रहेंगे आप एलिवेट कर सकते हैं उसको एरियाज में मिड विकेट स्क्वायर लेग और फाइन लेग अगर आप उनको ऊपर से निकालेंगे तो आपके पास चौका मिलेगा अगर आपके पास जनरल पावर है और आप अच्छा टाइम कर सकते हैं वो छक्का भी जा सकता है दिस इज हाउ दिशांत सेट्स इट अप Just as the bowler is about to jump up in the air, this is what he does. So he now, from this position, he's ready to play this ball as well as this ball. It's important that he shows the bowler the stump because if the bowler wants to attack the stump, he's got that shot. If he pitches it here, he can slog him straight over there. There's a big risk in this shot because you're showing the bowler the stump. Yagi always wants the bowler to attack the stump. He wants him to come in there because then he knows he can back himself. to hit that shot over the three fielders in the circle the key points of this skill are his bat if you notice where his bat comes from it's really nice and wide and when that bat goes nice and wide along with that foot he gets the, a maximum range to pick up the ball from all the shots that you saw him play were all balls that were well on this side of his body he was able to pick it up in the arc and send it over mid on mid wicket square leg and even fine leg What is great about the way Yagi practices this shot is he has the fearlessness to then go and take it into a match environment into a pressure environment and play it in that environment so i would urge you to go and watch Dishant Yagnik playing this shot in a pressurized environment in addition what we'd like to say to all the youngsters out there please start slow with this shot do not start playing it with a cricket ball straight away practice it with a soft ball with a tennis ball learn the skill of his position of being outside his body of how he jumps late into that position and executes it to perfection good luck with the shot